Hello everybody, it's Rug and Bite. I um, wanted to bring a new game to the channel. Uh, it's, I played a little bit of it, I just you know got it a little bit while ago, and uh, I seen it was pretty you know popular, so I figured, you know, let's just play some Stardew Valley. So uh, from what I've been told, it is pretty much um, Harvest Moon, but you know, sort of a spiritual successor, so to speak. So uh, let's go and get a character created and go from there. Alright, let's see. Um, there's a guy, as you know, I'm a guy, so let's see what colors we got here. Yes, covering a wide range there. These skin colors got 14, 15, 16, 7. You be blue! You be any color you want. That's awesome. Every color of the rainbow, and you can be it. There's only 24. Yeah, this be 24. It's really pale. You guys, I'm really pale. Let's all be pale. Let's go ahead and name it, uh, name it Rock and Bite. And let's see here. Uh, farm name. That is a tough one. Of course. Let's we'll name it Guan Yu, <laughs> the Guan Yu Farm, in honor of Guan Yu. Favorite thing, uh, obviously Guan Yu. You know, okay. animal preference. So well, let's see. Well, I do have a cat around here somewhere, so let's uh, put the cat there. I don't know if this makes any difference at all. As for hair, let's see what we got. Got one, two, three. Oh, I can have an afro. Oh, that'd be crap. He's really great. Uh, I don't have an afro. Is there a shaved head? Because I have a shaved head. I'd like it to look a little bit like me, hopefully. As much as you can get it, anyway. Uh, some crazy hair. Get some crazy hair choices. I guess uh, you can... It must, yeah, these must be the women's hair. Hmm. Um, I guess we'll just leave the hair base, then. I'm not seeing anything that looks like mine. Oh, clothing. Alright, let's see. There's this. There's a... Uh, this looks like a plain shirt there. Green. Ooh. Be closer to Guancher at that point, I suppose. Hmm. Some dude with the jacket. Now, what I do know about this game is you're a farmer. And from you know when I said I played a little bit, playing those um parsnips or something. So uh, yeah, let's just take the base shirt here. It says, oh, you have a beard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't mess with any of this. Hey, black, right? Try me like one. Like one would just wear a shirt though. Is there green? That looks a lot better. All right. Is there pants? Can I change my pants? No. Oh, just coloration of pants. Ah, blue looks fine to me. Let's uh, let's go. So I said there's an intro there, I guess. So uh, we'll go ahead and watch that. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. He's got a beard too. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh, this is depressing. <laughs> when that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I assume that'd be the farm. Yeah, I really don't know the story. I didn't actually read through it. It matches. Now let Grandpa rest. All right. So I plan to, you know, read through a number of parts, but I generally won't be reading all the dialogue. Out aloud, much like a cutscene, which one I probably will. Jo Joja, smile. You're with Joja. Oh man. Oh, it looks like a terrible place. Look, they're in their cubicles, and they got they got cameras on them while they're working. Clearly not happy here. Okay, don't snap, bro. No snap. Be chill. Do I have to click it? Dear Rock and Bite, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Quan 
Kwan Yu Farm. There we go. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh, okay, so that just goes back to the beginning. Let's close that out, I suppose. Jeez, thanks, Grandpa. Give me a farm. Oh, this game looks pretty. I love these old style looking games. They look really nice. Not to click anything here or no, I was about to say what I'm gonna just jump out of the bus, be like I'm here. Sardu Valley. Half a mile. I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> oh it's a birdie. Hello, you must be Rock and Bite. Hello, Robin. I'm Robin, a local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Hey, it's Lewis. I don't like the note. Said me, said I should. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Now, how did they know I was coming? Oh, well, we'll get into that later. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. As you wish, uh, Robin. What a mess. It's a lot of work to clean that up. This is Guan Yu Farm. I really should have thought of a better name for that. But, <laughs> you know, they got to put Guan somewhere. Duh! Uh, I have to clean all this up. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. What's the matter? Oh, jeez, I don't know. It's beautiful. It's, prob it's no problem with me. Nothing at all. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. As you wish, Robin. And here we are, your new home. Alright. Oh. Ah, the new farmer. Hello, Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. This small town. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Hmm. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Holes in it and everything. It's a good house, very rustic. Talking shit about my new house, Lewis? You talking shit? All right, very rustic. I see what you're saying there. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Yeah, really. Crusty. <laughs> Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Oh, they're both being rude. I'm gonna have to ask you both to get off my property before I have to uh pull out the shoddy, fix a few problems. Don't listen to a rock bite. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied. So you buy one of her house upgrades, carpenter lady. So, oh, caught her. She just got called out. Look at that. Oh, she thought, oh fuck, called me out. Stop it. Stop it, Lewis. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I suppose they would. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here and I'll come by during the night to collect it. You know, when you're laying in bed at night, I'll just uh, come onto your property and just rifle them out a little bit, look through the window, see what you're up to. You know, it's whatever. I'll leave some money in exchange. Well, good luck. I'm making things so terrible. <laughs> like, worse than they are, he's just coming and selling stuff for me. It's a pretty weird job for the mayor. Progress has been saved. Alright. Okay, boom. Yeah, I already set it to uh, auto run. I'll turn this music down a little bit. I'm sure this is probably too loud for you guys. Just in general, I'll turn a lot of things down. So, uh, you know, after this first video, I should have. Oh, hold on, what is this? All oh, the parsnip. 
parsnip seeds. Woo! Receive 15 parsnip seeds. A little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Well, geez, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Or is it set? I don't know. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Alright. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself. Okay, you want me to 28 people. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Let me uh, take a quick look at the time here, guys. 10 minutes. You know, I'll try and... Uh, this first introductory video, I'll try and go for 20. And then after that, we'll go... Uh, probably a good amount of time. So, alright, let's... Go ahead and just get started. I'm gonna get uh, how many do I got? Can't really see that. Fifteen. All right. So let's pull out. The, let me first move my hotbars around a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. Oh wait, nope. And there. That looks good to me. All right. We'll pull out the scythe and get rid of this. This is uh, easy stuff to clear off. Excellent. Does that take energy to clear this out with the scythe? And everything else seems to. Well, except for running around. Do you think that would tire you out? Just sprinting around town all day. Oh, whoops, stuck. Alright, so 264. Let's get this out of here. Just get rid of the easy stuff first, I guess. And then um, then we'll go ahead and get rid of, uh, you know, the bigger stuff like the trees and the rocks and all that junk. This is just an easy source of wood. A little bit of weird control issue here. Alright, get rid of this. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm trying to start my farm and you're rooting it. I'm probably gonna need these later. Now I know you can make a chest. I need 50 wood. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to get. I don't have to like chop down too many. I don't have to chop down, but just uh, mine up too many rocks. And I probably don't need all of this space, really. What is this? Is this like a baby tree? Mm. I don't really want to cut it down, but it's in the way. It's blocking my vision. Got all this weeds and junk like that. Excellent. Alrighty. So I don't really know exactly everything you're supposed to do in this game. Cause I, you know, I'm pretty pretty new to this. Uh, I went pretty much just enough to get access to understand how to do the controls. Oh, a seed, extra seed. This I'll take that and plant that as well. So I need to dig out 16 slots. But yeah, what was I saying there? I was um. Oh yeah, I played just enough to get access to the controls and to sort of basically get the layout of the town. Uh, you'll still find me wandering around not knowing what to do half the time, but uh, it's a learning experience. You know, this video here, I figured, you know, I'm playing Smite all the time. It'd be nice to get some more content on the channel. Granted, you know, I said Rogue Legacy, for instance, one of the games that I play. Uh, I played that, and that's sort of an off let's play. I want to do this one in Smite primarily. Uh, Smite will be something that I can get a couple videos recorded, and then I'll just do one of these, hopefully, you know, every day. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone will watch it, but if anyone does. No, it absolutely would appreciate some tips on this. But if it comes into like super hard spoiler territory, there's no need. But when I'm talking about that, I'm talking like uh, efficiency based on where to place things. And uh, I don't I actually don't know. I know seasons change, but I don't know what things I can plant. I don't know how that works. Oh, my energy's getting low. <laughs> this whole first stage is going to be me chopping stuff down. I think this is good. This looks pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't take any... How much wood do I got? I got 52 hay, we'll craft a chest. Nice. Uh, dang. Okay, we'll get rid of the, these seeds. I don't know if those grow any things. Maybe they just turn into weeds. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and I'll put this up on the porch. That'd look pretty nice, wouldn't it? Put that like right here. Can I put it here then? I can't, alright. I'll just put stuff in there that I don't feel I'm going to need right now. I'm going to need my tools. I'm going to hold on to those. Alright, so how many do I got? 15? So... One. Oh, that didn't go where I thought. Okay, hold on. Always show tool hit location. Ah, there we go. Oh, and maybe not. Oh, it's because I'm standing on it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's twelve. I mean, okay, just plant three more. I guess. One, two, and three. I would put the other ones there, but you know, it's no point. Now, does this take energy? Because I'm getting pretty low there. I'm getting concerned. 78. Okay, so planting doesn't, but I know watering does. Okay, let's get these planted here. 
these little puppies in the ground and then pull this out and start watering. Two. Okay, so that takes two. Alright, sweet. I just love this style of game. Where you can just build this stuff up like that. Nice. So this is probably a very boring for this video, but it, this type of game doesn't really have all the uh, action stuff everyone would be looking for. Alright, I know you can fill up over here. Right, um, I could still run, so maybe I should pop into town for a bit, because it's early in the day and I should just meet everybody. My crops are already handled, those are good to go. I think we're using our time pretty good. Let's go into town and check on every, check on everybody, meet everybody. Wait up, friend. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Well, it's nice to meet you, Harvey. You talk to me again? I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I imagine it would be. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Yes, yeah, a farmer. Okay, so you don't want to talk to me more, so I'm gonna talk, sit next to him. Not. He's done with me. He dismissed me for the day. Alright, so let's see. Who else can we meet? This here. Alright, so this is a calendar. Uh, Lewis's birthday. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. It's about six. Yeah, it's about six days away, so I'll have to meet somewhere. Uh, oh, here's some gun. Hey, don't you run away from me. Oh, don't even know this dude. I'm just going to run his house. What the heck? Wow, okay, jeez. <laughs> Why hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Well, it says here your name's uh, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Can you talk to me anymore? No, you don't like me? Okay. Oh, I don't want to ax your door down. Whoops. Hmm. Okay, some dude in a chair here, wheelchair. George. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Yeah, that's alright. Gives me something to do. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! <laughs> well, what a friendly guy. Granted, I am barging into his house. Well, let's go through his fridge. It's a well-stocked refrigerator. Can I say the same thing? Oh, I can't just like pill for food out here. Oh, trash can. It's empty. Dang. So often I just go rifling through people's trash. <laughs> You're not good enough friends with Alex to enter his bedroom. But his door is open. Oh, look at him lifting some weights. I want in there. Let me do that too. We both get ripped together. Get all buff. Hello, doggy. Hmm. Trailer. Let's see who lives here. Oh, who's this? Is this uh, is that that one lady? No, that was Robin. And who's this? Hi. Oh, did you want something? Oh, geez, I don't know. I just sort of wandered into your house. I'm here to rob you, of course. Nah. Just don't mind the stranger just looking through your shit right now. <laughs> it's full of empty beer bottles. <gasps> you drunk. Penny, you drunk. Okay, so we know we found the town's uh, raging alcoholic. Hmm, what a nice. What a, here's a, there, it looks like they already got a garden over here. They're growing uh, mushrooms and berries and flowers and stuff. Putting me to shame. All I'm growing is uh, par, par, parnips. Parsnips. Oops, didn't mean to go up. I want to go back down. Alright. Clam. Someone lived here once. Right, I, I'm pretty sure you can sell these, so I'll just take these and sell them. I know you can also give them as gifts, and people seem to generally be happy when you give them gift gifts. You know, let's try and pronounce that word. Try it again, though. Uh, the heck this? I don't know. Well, oh, here's somebody. Hello, friend. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. Hello, Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Here, I found a shell. You probably never see these living on the beach and all. Oh, a present. Thank you. Yeah, he loves that. I mean, you think he would be, you know, have too many of them considering he lives on the beach, probably sees them all the time. I just really went to his front door and, like, picked up his paper and gave it to him as a gift. There you go, buddy. Oh, geez, yeah, I was supposed to be getting one of these. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh! I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, that might be fun. Alright. 
Trash cans. Just rifle through everyone's trash. Hello. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Yes, talk to strangers. I have candy. Or have something. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah. There you go. I found a, mus a muscle on the beach. Have that. This isn't very fun. Yeah. It's not. Alright, who, who are you? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. But that's okay. I'm Jody. What were you imagining in a farmer? Someone without a beard? That'd be silly. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I suppose it could. Oh, we're coming close to the time that I said I wanted to actually close it out, but you know what, guys? With it being the first video, I'm going to go ahead and extend it to try and at least finish out the day. Uh, if days are long enough, maybe that could be how I do the videos. Just do them day by day basis. That might be nice. Uh, ma 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 Meru? Maru? Oh, aren't you? I'm going to say Maru. Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. How friendly. I wouldn't this town so friendly. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. I suppose it is. It's very exciting. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I talk to you. You? No. The trash can. Hey, stop that. Yuck. I want to go through the trash. Why won't you let me? Oh, this looks like a bar. This is a bar in it. Oh, let's see. Four hundred dollars for a beer. Oh God. Oh, this. You want a pizza? Well, that's gonna be six hundred dollars. Or gold, or whatever. It looks like gold to me. Whew. This town they charge a lot for things. That's rough. That's rough. Unless this is like five dollars, essentially. It just counts like cents and stuff. That's how I'm just gonna go ahead and. uh I'm gonna count, count it like that. That's probably not even correct, but uh, you know, it just seems that way. It says I have five dollars to my name. <laughs> there you go. Who are you? Le Leah, Leah. Uh, Leah, I'm gonna say Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It's really nice. Oh, we got a Super Saiyan over here. <laughs> hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Oh, that's all he has to say. Uh, hi, nice to meet you, but, uh, you know, you go, you go over there, I got stuff to do. Let's, uh, sneak over here. Hey, stop that, yuck. Do they all just have to judge? Right, let's talk to this dude. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Okay, uh, Shane. Nice to meet you, too. Me and that guy are gonna be best friends, I can just see it. Uh, <laughs> Shane's birthday here, you better, better attitude. You know, if you want to get an oyster for your birthday. Uh, what's this place? Oh, there's a sh shop. Ooh. Backpack, 24 slots. That'd be nice. 2,000 gold? Oh, no. I'm not going to call it dollars, guys, because I just realized it would be too annoying to have to do. They'll just say gold. You aren't good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Aw. Uh, yeah, but apparently I'm good enough friends just to go in the shop and go in the back to where they live. You know, no problems there. Hello, you must be Rugby, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. It's nice to meet you. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yeah, locked in a room, which apparently... You know, I can go in your kitchen, rifle through your fridge, but room's off limits. It's loaded with fresh veggies. Hey, we've been two-timing with give you fresh vegetables. Should have known I was going to be the farmer here. Come on now. Well, they do have a shop. I don't know where they get all this. Do they ship it in? Who knows? Pierre. Pierre. I'm going to say Pierre. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Hey, it's Mr. Rockenbite, the new farmer. I'm here, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Now, okay, so... I wonder if you can actually sell to him, because I know you can just throw stuff in that crate and the mare will come by and just, you know, pick it all up, no matter how many hundreds of pounds of things you put in there, and he'll take it and carry it off. No problem. Let's see the map. Jaja Mart, so I used to work for them. Uh, I don't know. We're getting pretty close in the day. We might as well just get a, go to bed early, and then I'll just close that video out here. Well, not here, but whenever I go to bed, and then um, start fresh on a new day. So, uh... 
I hope this series will actually turn out to be pretty good for you guys. You know, I, I've been pretty excited. This game is really nice. I like the style of it, and it reminds me of Harvest Moon. So, you know, so um, let's just throw these in here. See if I can get any money for them. What would I put in this thing? Yeah, just a little bit of stuff. I'll just leave it right there. Then we'll just go back to the house, and we'll go to bed. All right, guys. Uh, I just want to thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, this video will get some views, and if you uh, like it, just leave a comment, like, and if you want to, subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.